statement. This is Crowder's statement, guys. Living with a proverbial boot on my neck for going on years now. All right, so the opening statement, he's been living with a proverbial boot on his neck for years now. That's because the divorce process was initiated in 2021. Same as mine. <laughs> like, so that's just that just shows you how long it could take to get a divorce, guys. Uh, since 2021, I've been living through what has increasingly been a horrendous divorce. Now, let me say on the outset, to be clear, there is no infidelity, any kind of physical abuse at all on either side. And no, this was not uh, my choice. Okay, so now he's talking no fault divorce, okay? That's what he's saying. Hey, but he's putting it out there. Hey, I never hit her. I never cheated. And usually when guys say that, it's because you know, you know what they're about to hit him with? Emotional abuse. Try, it, it, it's, it is textbook divorce 101. Okay, well, he, did he cheat on you? No. Did he hit you? No. Well, why are you getting a divorce? Emotional abuse. All right. Okay. All right. There we go. That it's one on one. No one's never going to say like, well, we just kind of grew apart. No woman is going to say that. My then wife decided that she didn't want to be married anymore. And in the state of Texas, that is completely permitted. It's been the most heartbreaking experience of my life. What I consider to be my deepest personal failure. And just so you know, my opinions on parenting and families have not changed. Um, I've always believed that Children need a mom and a dad, that divorce is horrible. And I still believe that children need a mom and a dad and that divorce is horrible. And look, I agree. But what he said about the heartbreak and the hardest part of his life, absolutely, guys, make no mistake. Do not think for one second. You see me up here smiling, we cracking jokes. But the divorce that I'm going through is the hardest thing I've ever experienced in life. Kid you not. You're all alone. You're on the island. No one can help me. San can't help me. Nathan can't help me. The job can't help me. Just niece can't help me. Sean Rhea can't help me. It's just me. Not even my lawyer can help me. They're like, look, the laws are not in your favor. But let's keep going through what he's saying. But in today's legal system, my beliefs don't matter. In Texas, divorce is permitted when one party wants it, period. So for well over a year, uh, well over a year, in the best interest as well as physical safety of my children, we've decided to keep this issue private and to resolve it uh, privately with the appropriate attorneys. Now, look, when you say the best interest of his children, that's straight cap. <laughs> that's straight cap. That is, that is a lie. He's saying for the best interest of his children probably have no idea they're going through a divorce. They're young. They were born in 2021, I believe. They're twins, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken. My daughter has no idea what's going on. She thinks everything is great. She gets two Christmases. She gets two birthday parties. She thinks, you know, mama has a house. Daddy has a house. She could, she has no idea that this is not normal for now. What have you, legal jargon. Now, in all this, one thing I want to be really clear about is certain. True North here is that my children are blameless. Oh, my God. Completely without fault. And so we decided to resolve these issues privately as it's in their best interests, uh, both emotionally and physically, to do so. Now, the other issue is, and this is something that I've kept private for likely far too long. Sure, things um, have to be kept private. Many other people knew about this behind the scenes. All right, first off, no one's, look, when you get divorced, no one's talking about your kids. When Tom Brady got divorced, no one was talking about his kids. Uh, you, you know, it, some people <laughs> say it's all your main's fault in my soundboard. I, I lost that sound bite. Um, but the kids are, they have no idea. They like, Hey, they're infants or whatever. That's it. Now you could say he got, uh, he got bait and switched or no praying mantis. But when I look at the video, it could be bait and switch. When you see the abuse video, you might see, think it is bait and switch, or you may think he's a jerk either way. I'll, we're going to watch his video and we'll finish this and I'll give you my stance on things and how I handle things in my life. Some, not all, but some of them in positions of power, influence, leverage, knew of this. They also knew that the safety of my children oh. included keeping it private. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm just so annoyed when people like 
you know, we, we first, you know, the first guy was like, it's for my parents' safety. Like, bro, no, it's your, it's for your, your ego. It's for your life. Kids have no idea. Parents probably have no idea. But these are, the kids are being used as a shield and it's so weak. Uh, but that, that's his take. So if you're familiar with the idea of extortion, then you know the feeling well. Uh, now, some of these threats were so thinly veiled that I'm frankly surprised you didn't all guess immediately. Steven has... Now, this is where he effed up. This is where he messed up. This is a mistake. He inserted another content creator into his divorce, even though they knew about it. Now, you just, you greenlit her to kick your back in. And Candace Owen has been kicking his back in. A lot going on, I guess is the best way to say it. He has a lot going on, and that should be clear because people don't do stuff like this if there's not a lot going on in their lives. I would like to implore my audience and everybody that isn't paying attention to this situation not to condemn him, but to pray for him. Sometimes people need a prayer. Sometimes people need a scripture. You know, Stephen purports to be a Christian. I am unsure at this moment if, if it is my place to say more than that. You know, like she's so subtle with her sneak disses. He purports to be a Christian, but it's not my place to speak on it. Meaning, you know, when people start talking Christianity, their definition and your definition may not align. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you don't go to church every weekend. I do. I'm a Christian. You're not a Christian. You know, you, you get into that type of stuff. But him clipping her saying this, which I believe was in result of him turning down the $50 million daily wire deal, was a mistake. <laughs> you know, maybe if I feel in further defense, some things should be said. Or maybe if I feel that the public has a right to understand certain circumstances. Oh, my children have a right to privacy. Oh, God. See, the children, the children. Well, we got to do it for the kids. The children, eh, they have no idea. Now, some other uh, issues have been, uh, or I should say, uh, inferences have been more pernicious behind the scenes with demands and threats to use this information that they believe would be uh, so publicly embarrassing to me and my wife at a difficult time that it could be used, knowingly putting my children in harm's way. So to those self-styled Christians, conservatives, and allies, well, not in my book. Now, if you find yourself, I, I don't want to get into details, so this is going to likely be the only time I have to address this or want to address this. If you're asking yourself, hey, did X person or did Y person know? The answer is likely yes. So he's talking about did the people at Daily Wire know? Yeah, a lot of people knew about his divorce. And people are like, well, why is it going on for two years? Oh, gosh, I can explain to you why it's going on for two years with him, with me, with most guys at the end of this video. Which will be made alarmingly clear as this process of discovery continues. Uh, and ah, it also, ah, by the way, ah, makes me ah. that much. You said the process of discovery continues. The process of discov what discovery looks like in divorce is going through financials, evaluating his net worth, evaluating his YouTube channel evaluating every which way he earns money every way he started earning money for the 10 years he was married to his wife more appreciative of those who did know about this and in understanding the best interests of my family my children kept their word and used discretion uh, i can't thank you enough sincerely i appreciate it won't forget it it's it's pretty simple um i loved a woman so much that i married her <laughs> <laughs> don't we all <laughs> we we all sucker for love man we are some suckers for love man we are and when we realize that they never loved us it's heartbreaking it's hard it's a hard pill to swallow a woman who despite all of this i still love as the mother of my children and she wanted something else for her life that's not my choice she simply wanted out and the law says that that's how it works now of course look i get it there are multiple sides <laughs> so so now he's coming at no fault divorce and so when he said that's how the law works people are persecuting him for saying that's how the law works and they're saying you know you conservative men want to control every aspect of women's lives even when they want a divorce you don't want them to get divorced 
even though it was uh what was it reagan <laughs> who got who got rid of uh who started the no fought divorce if i'm not mistaken he said it was the worst thing ever because now women have such a huge financial incentive to break up the family with no accountability just gotta say i'm not happy all right well He's worth 20 million, we'll give you 12. <laughs> to every story, but one thing that is undeniable uh, in this case is that it's no one's fault but my own in that I picked wrong. And that's certainly <laughs> not the fault of my children. Oh my now look, his wife is watching this, guys. She's like, you picked wrong. What? Oh, you're about to pay, buddy. <laughs> you about to pay. She about to go up in them pockets. Remember, I lost my old YouTube channel in the divorce. And uh, I will say that what's in the best interest of my children um, <sighs> is not internet drama, speculation, certainly not blatant or veiled shakedowns or dragging their father or mother. And I can't be clear on that enough, or their mother through the mud. And to anyone who tries it, I'm no longer going to pacify, capitulate, or sidestep because I love them a whole lot more than I love you. And I will continue to do whatever is necessary to protect my children discussing the divorce any further on social media or on this show or in any public space is not what's best for them. I'll be handling this through the proper legal avenues and channels available as a matter of record in which I have more than full confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd ask that you understand the need for and uh, respect our privacy in what is obviously a pretty tough time. And I hope that none of this has to go any further. All right, so that's his statement okay <laughs> that's his initial statement and this is the statement before the video came out before she made her statement and people are like well, why is it going on for two years why is my divorce going on for two years what do you think guys money 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 now i would say they did do it right i can't find the original complaint i can't see if she's asking for a disproportionate share of the marital assets I can't see if she's asking for any assets at all. I can't see if she's requesting full custody. I can't see if she's requesting child support. I cannot see any of that. And if they're smart, they handle it like uh, um, Tom Brady and Giselle, where basically it was handled off, off the books. No complaint was ever. Well, it's unfortunate that a complaint was already put in. And I showed you that here. I'll, I'll show you um, where the complaint was put in already. Because you can't unring the bell, guys. Share screen. Give me a second. Right here. A complaint exists. And of course, <laughs> of course, I tried to find it. Okay. And I couldn't. It must have been. It was in and then it was out. And that. Don't worry, guys. Someone will find it. People with more resources than me can potentially get their hands on it, not myself. But the point I'm trying to make is, you're like, why is it going on for two years? It's a money thing. Pure money. She could have a number in mind. He could have a number in mind. Some guys want to fight the whole, no, we're, we're, we need to stay together. We, we're in love. I want you back. And she's like, no, man. When a woman's fed up, <laughs> when a woman's fed up, don't worry. This petition right here, this original petition for divorce, that tells the story. Did she allege emotional abuse in her original petition? And I sympathize with them because guess what? In my, my ex's original petition, I was emotionally abusive.